So I know you're probably chomping at the bit. Let's set these materials, let's set these physics, and let's make this thing look like a golf course. Well, we're gonna do it in this video. Here we go. So back into Unity, we have our set mesh editor opened up. And uh, right now I have the V4 default and I've got that theme loaded. So here's all these V4 defaults. Um, for the sake of this, let's load up a different one. Let's do V4 lush. And if you have an outer on yours, you could load up V4 lush outer and you're gonna have a very similar process. So, but I'm gonna do V4 lush, double click on that. And again, I'm gonna load it and I can see all the materials loaded up. So let's explain these a little bit and go down through these and see if we need to make any tweaks. So the materials that we see are gonna be assigned to the various surfaces that we have. These surfaces were selected and created in Inkscape. So we have our bunkers that we created and we assign them bunkers in Inkscape. So they're gonna get this material called OPCD Moss Sand Raked Derp, <laughs> Dirt Lip Lush. I know that's a handful. Now, if I select this little icon here, I can see all the different materials associated with sand. So we got sand rake, there's all these different tweaks to this, okay? And we can experiment with those, but I would suggest that for your first course here is stick to all the defaults associated with this theme. We can look at these later and figure out what these look like uh, later in the course. But for now, I would say leave these alone. I just wanna make sure that you're aware of all the different things. If you click on this, you'll see here's all the concrete ones. Okay, so there's concrete gravel, concrete small rocks. So there are some included ones that look good. And advanced topics are that you can actually create your own. Um, more on that probably later or maybe in an advanced video. So then we have our curbs, if you assign curbs inside the blender. So you, some of these things aren't things that you created in Inkscape. It could be some of the things that you assigned in Blender. There's gonna be more of those at the bottom here. Deep rough, if you did deep rough, fairway, green, pine straw, rough, semi-rough tea, you get the idea. Our water plane is a little bit different. It doesn't get this MAHS type material. It gets simply the water plane aqueous light, which is the wavy reflective water plane, okay? Uh, I'm not sure what else is associated. Yeah, there's pretty much only one of those. Now there are ones that you can purchase there, not really a subject of this video. Um, so we have our water base, then we have our customs. Remember, we could do custom materials inside of Inkscape. We have custom one, two, three, and four. And then also because of these ones here, water, bake, lace, lake, creek, custom one, two, and three, four. Remember, these are the bases. We can pick the kind of physics that will get assigned to those, which is right here. So we can say that, do you want your water base, okay, your lake? Typically you want that playing as deep rough or rough, but here's where you can assign that. So in summary, here are all the different physics that you have access to. And this is it guys, you don't get any more than this. So you have tee box, you know, so it behaves like a tee box, fairway, green, semi-rough, rough, deep rough, sand, pine straw, concrete, timber, which is what you would assign typically to like a house or anything that you want to react to react like wood. And then we have water, which is a very special physics because when it hits water, you're gonna get a splash and then it's gonna automatically um, trigger a uh, penalty type script in game. So, so that's a different one. It's not the water look, it's what happens when the ball hits the water, okay? So you can see that here we can assign our custom physics to our one, two, three, or four if you use those. So you know, if you want your custom one to you know, behave like a fairway, Typically, these are gonna be rough or deep rough, and we're gonna leave them alone from now. And then you also see all the type of materials that are gonna get assigned to the various things you might've added in Blender on those uh, object placement scripts that we covered in Blender, like bridges. So there's all the different types of bridges and what they're gonna look like. I'll show you that in a second when we assign these. Our stairs, if you did stairs, stairs if you did wood, and bulkheads. And then our raised planter walls, our raised planter mulch, if you did those. So again, we'll leave all these alone for now. Let's go down to blends though, and take a look at these. So for our blends, and remember what blends are. Blends are the meshes that are the, tr the, the transition from one material to another. In this case, let's look at the first one, which we have here, which is a tea box. So a tea is gonna 
blend is going to be assigned this material, which is the blend material called blend underscore T lush. Okay. That is going to do a transition from our T material, which is, uh, where is it? OPCD MOS T lush. So this material is going to be the source or near the T box, and it's going to blend to whatever we have assigned to semi rough and semi rough up here is this moss semi rough rough lush okay so t box will go blend from this t material up here to this semi rough material now maybe you didn't do that in your inkscape what do i mean by that so let me bring up inkscape quick and here that's not a section that i want here is a t box right there this t box is going to my outer 99 Okay, so this is a complicated one. So what do you think is going to happen here? Whoops, I assigned the wrong material. Let's go back and I clicked on that accidentally. Assign it T box again. So T, in this case, in almost all my cases, my T material is going to my whole 99 material. And if you recall, we assigned the whole 99 material to what? Rough. Remember, we did that in the blender form before we sent it up to Clender. We said we want our whole 99 to be rough. So whole 99 is getting assigned the rough material, which is this right here. So in our case, we want our T's to blend from T to rough, not semi-rough. Okay. Now that might be different for your course. You have to look at your Inkscape. Now, there's another one I know that is probably wrong here, which is, let's go down to green, okay? So I have my green blend. So this is gonna be, when I have a green, it's gonna blend from our green material, which is our OPCD Moss Green Lush here. It's gonna blend from that, and this is saying Fairway. Well, is that what we did inside of Inkscape? Let's look here. So here's my green. Let me zoom in on this guy. And you can see in this case, most of the time it's going to semi, but there are spots here where the blend is going to be the fairway. That's a little tricky. I actually did this on purpose. Um, an easier way to maybe do this would be to take this fairway and run it around our entire green and then have our semi rough go around the entire fairway. And that way we would have one consistent blend around the whole thing but in this case we've got some of the blend which needs to go to semi-rough and some of the blend which needs to go fairway we're not going to solve that in this video but what i am going to show you is that, hey we're just going to make this a uh, blend to go from green to semi and right here around this area it's going to be wrong because this needs to go from green to fairway but that can be fixed and we'll cover that in later videos so let me go back here and just say green is going to go to semi-rough instead. Now, so my semi-blend, that will, so semi, this is saying semi to rough, and that's what we're gonna have here. Remember, we have our semi here, and it's going to our outer 99, which I assigned as rough. So all set with that. Um, fairway, we'll go to semi-rough, that's correct. Pine straw, we did, I can't remember if we did any pine straw, but most in almost all cases pine shawl is going to go to rough concrete we're not going to do a blend so concrete blend this might be a little confusing it's just going to be all concrete it's going to go concrete to concrete so we're going to have a hard line on that blend it's just what we want now customs hmm custom one this is just saying custom one so all these are going to have a hard line because we're not doing our set we're saying custom one the blend's going to go from custom one to custom one Let's see, do we have any custom blends? I thought we did one or two. Let's look here. Ah, here's one. What is this? This is custom blend. Why is it my pop? Oh, here it is. Custom one. Okay, so that is custom one. And that's going to our whole 99, which is rough. So we want custom one here to go to rough. All right, cool. One last thing that we need to work on is our terrain satellite imagery. Now, I don't have an inner. Now, if you have an outer, all you had to do is turn that on or select the V4 Lush Plus outer. Um, let me leave that checked for now as if I have an outer because I'll show you guys how to do this. Um, so first of all, we need to select our terrain imagery that we're going to put on here. 
and how we do that. Well, one option we could hit select, and we'd have to know the name of our terrain image, and I don't. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to come. Let me move this up. I got some real estate to work with, um, and I'm going to come down here to terrain backup. And here in my terrain backup, if you follow my videos, your satellite overlays should be in here. Okay. So I'm going to use my Google one and I'm going to drag that up into this slot and I'm going to put my terrain size in here, which I know is 2591. That's mine. It's not yours. So how do we determine that? Let me come back over here to my terrain, go to my inspector, go to my settings here. And there it is, 2591. You need to put yours in there. Now, if you have an outer, you're going to do something similar. You're going to take your outer image, which will be in your terrain backup, slide it into this spot, highlight your terrain over here, your outer plot over here in your scene, go into its settings, and you should see its terrain size as this terrain width and length right here, and you're going to put it into that slot. I do not have an outer, so I'm going to uncheck that. And I think I'm in pretty good shape at this point. Let's assign this and see what it looks like. So I'm going to hit replace materials. And I'm going to get my warning. It says, hey, this is going to overwrite everything you got in there. Well, that's what I want right now because I got these ugly colors going on. I'm going to hit continue. And it's going to prompt me to save this. Now, remember what I said earlier. We don't want to overwrite our old ones. So we've got this V4 lush asset. And it's prompting us. Now, I could just save it as this new OPCD theme dot asset, but I'm going to give it something a little bit more descriptive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say V4 Lush, but I'm going to append in the front of it because we used V4 Lush as the base for this. I'm going to say Hershey Country Club underscore V4 Lush and hit save. Now, when I do that, it's going to save my theme. And in the background, it's doing a few things. It's going through every mesh that we have imported in our OPCD meshes, and it is assigning um, some things to them. One is it's assigning our materials and our shaders to it so that we can assign these materials that we put in these slots up here. It's also going and it's assigning uh, materials to our blends. It's setting up how those blends are going to work. So, you know, we've made some changes here. So it's going to make those blends go from its source to its destination on this side. It's assigning and inserting our custom physics. And it's also inserting our terrain satellite into our unsplined areas. It looks like it's done. So let's close this out. I can just hit close and re remember or not remember, we saved this as Hershey Country Club V4 Lush. So that is now what is loaded up in here. OK, it leaves us loaded in here. And that's really important that this stays in here. I'm going to show you guys that in a later video why that's important. So let's look around. Hey, this is looking like a golf course now, right? So you can see when I come out here, one is my auto outer that I did, OK, is now, OK, assigned this rough looking material. And you can see, if I go into the inspector, a few things here. One is, I've got this material here, which is our OPCD Moss Rough No Mow Lines Lush. This should look familiar. That's what we had selected in our tool. Let's go back up here and show you. Rough, MHP Moss Rough No Lines Lush. So that got shoved into that slot, okay? We also have um, some information about vertexes, more on that later on, and we have our collider information. This collider information contains our physics, which you can see here is our GSP rough. And if I click on that, you can see all our different physics that we see here. Now you're saying, wait a minute, there's a few extra in there, right? So. You can see I've got concrete, deep rough. I talked about these, but the twos that we can't really use except on trees are our, where are they, leaves and wood. Those are for trees only, but the other ones can be assigned physics. So like I said earlier, you can go into all these individually and assign physics on your own as well, okay? So what else can we look at here? Well, we've got our custom, okay? And we've got our bridge. And remember, our bridge now looks more like a bridge. It got some better materials on it, okay? Now, if you ever get this, it's a good example of a little troubleshooting. If you see how this is starting to 
uh, I get this line and it's hard for me to zoom in going across the screen. What I can do is I can drop a human height guy in here, drag it on, hit the F key, then delete him again. And now you can see that I don't get that clipping anymore, right? So that's just a bug. So you can now, we got this stuff looking pretty good. You can see that our outer mesh has got assigned our satellite imagery. So now this looks like, you know, um, our satellite imagery, but our two holes that we have done are starting to look like a real golf course at this point.